So this is one of my exam pieces for tomorrow. This is my trickiest one, so I'm practicing like mad. <clears throat> anyway, I thought you ladies would like a little run through. You might recognize it. Good afternoon, Andy here. Um, this week is a sight read. Um, I've been working on B flat major and A flat major, so it's two flats and then four flats uh, recently. But this one is G minor, so it's uh, B flat, E flat, and F sharp. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> Okay, not too hard that one. Um, bit of a cheat because the accidentals are actually marked on the on, on the page. This is the book from Animato. Some of you may have. I find it quite useful as an exercise book uh, for when I get my fingers to work. So that was uh, an Animato piece in G minor. So B flat, E flat, and F sharp. Another Viking ragged robin. Kerry, um, sight reading this week challenge for the next two weeks, I believe. Um, I'm playing, I opted to play for a piece called Pony a Trap, which I instantly regretted having put the photograph up. I then started to look at it a little harder uh, without playing it, but just looking at it, reading the music. Um, I don't like surprises, I like to be prepared, I like to plan, um, and so this hits at my nerves um and i haven't been too well with my nerves anyway the last week or so um but i'm going to give it a go it's called pony and trap it's from the skillful solos book um full disclosure i have uh, seen a trombone version of this played so i've got some idea uh i've had a couple of run-throughs of the notes but had no clue how the tune 
went at all until having seen the YouTube video today. Now I have a little bit better picture in my head of how this piece should go. <sighs> and I'm going to record it. Um, yeah, with backing track as well. But I have had a run through. I had a couple of run throughs before filming this. So here's hoping that this works. I bet it doesn't and I apologise in advance. This is going to have mistakes in it. It just is. Um, here we go. Pony and Trap. Oh, there you go. Just to prove the point. Um, missed the cue because it's pretty fast. Okay. second with the backing track as well um but there you go that's that's sight reading for you um so if i take the backing track back to the beginning <laughs> let's have a go <laughs> in a very strange way in order to get this um, here is hungry eyes um, I've had a couple of goes at this so we will see so I'm also following it hello <laughs> following it straight from a YouTube tutorial so the music scrolls across the screen so um, sometimes I miss something because it doesn't forward it fast enough if that makes sense <laughs> 